How long does it take a classical dancer to get ready for a performance? When I was a child, it took me, I remember just getting ready hours before our performance, being uh, backstage because there would be a whole bunch of us and we would have a makeup artist dressing us up for the event. And so it was a long, tedious process getting ready for a performance. Uh, but since I have started to perform as a soloist, I have tried to shrink down my uh, time to get ready for a performance. And there are different things that I have adapted for that. First and foremost is to educate yourself and train yourself about uh, stage makeup and to be able to do your makeup yourself. Because it's just a lot quicker, a lot more convenient, it makes you independent. You can travel and perform without the worry of uh, who will do your makeup and hair for the performance. So that's the first thing that I did. And uh, the second thing that really helps me is to categorize and divide my stuff in the order in which I'm going to get ready. So today I'm going to just let you in on how I uh, categorize my stuff to get ready for a performance. Dancers have different processes and different orders that they follow while getting dressed. This is the order that I follow because this is what works best for me. So I always like to start with my hair first. And so I have everything that goes for my hair in this uh, pouch. That's the chignon that I use to um, fasten my bun. And these are the hairpins, the comb and everything else that goes for your hair. Once I'm done with my hair, finish with my hairspray and then this is done. I then move on to my makeup which is all right here. Now my makeup also I like to categorize it because this is all the stuff that goes onto my face just to build the base for my face. So my pan stick, my concealer, my powder, my compact, all of that goes into this because I then let it rest once I've done my contour and highlight. I like to let my uh, base rest a bit before I move on to uh, adding all my highlighters. So that's when I get into the rest of the stuff like my lips and my rouge and everything else. So that's my makeup bag which has everything in it. It's nice to get one that has a division so you can categorize stuff and put it aside so it doesn't get too stressful with everything at one shot. So that's my makeup. Uh, once I'm done with my makeup, I then put on my costume because uh, my jewelry needs to be pinned on to everything. So that's my costume bag. I get my costume on. And once that's done, I then go to my jewelry. Uh, so I have a few things about my jewelry. I like to store everything in little cloth pouches. Uh, since all the jewellery that I wear is silver, it's best stored in uh, cloth pouches and if they're in plastic packs like this, then I like to wrap it up with some tissue just because they all have a lot of moisture in them because you wear them to performances and you sweat. So keeping them covered helps reduce the oxidization. So all of my jewellery is in uh, cloth pouches like this. I have a hard case pouch that I like to use for my earrings. This one is to store headphones traditionally, but I like to store my earrings in things like this because it helps to keep the stem of the earring intact. Even if you travel with this, it keeps it safe. So if you find something with a hard case like this, it's ideal to store your uh, earrings. And yeah, so that's pretty much my jewelry. Once I'm done with my jewelry, then the last step for me to dress up is uh, my pushpachuda or the head crown. So that's my uh, pushpachuda. Um, and I like to store it in, a, this is a perfume gift set box. These hard boxes are perfect to store. Also because the pushpachuda is so delicate and uh, easiest stored in this for travel. And once I'm done, this is the bag that I like to carry to the venue for the performance. And that bag usually has my music. I keep all my pen drives and everything else, all my files in a little box like this, uh, which is all backup just for the show. And I carry a little fan that I like to use backstage. Um, and of course my gungroos, which goes with me and I just tie it pre-performance backstage. 
All of this helps me get ready in about 90 minutes from start to finish and that's actually good time for a classical dancer. The most important aspect of this is that organizing your stuff and categorizing it this way helps you stay calm and composed on the day of your performance. You don't want to be worrying about where everything is and how to put everything into order on the day of your performance. So another very essential part of this is that once your performance is done, you put back all your stuff the same way, categorize the same way so that it's easy for you even when it's the next performance. I hope these pro tips have helped you. Mm.